And underway right now is the second annual Drive Away Hunger event. Here to talk more about it is Scott Martin with AAA. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. You bet. I'm glad to have, be here. Yeah, so talk about the partnership between um, Harvesters and AAA. How did this come about? Well, you know, um, AAA, of course, we've been around for 120 years helping people with their roadside service and all their travel needs and as well as insurance. And we want to do something to help give back to the community as well. So last year, we uh, hooked up with Harvesters to um, do this food drive to help those during the holiday season who could use a little help. Yeah, and so the food drive, give us the details on um, when is it and how long it is. Uh, we run until uh, November the 19th. Okay. Uh, we started last Monday, the 17th of this month. Runs till then. Um, they can drop off at the store there at 1223 Southwest Wanamaker. Uh, we're open Monday through Friday, 9 to 530 and 9 to 1 on Saturdays. Okay, so it's only the AAA store in Topeka that people yes. can drop off food? Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then um, what can people donate? Any dry goods. Okay. Any dry goods. Uh, canned items, cereals, st just as long as it don't have to be refrigerated, drop it off. Yeah. Um, what has the response been like since the food drive started? Uh, it's a little slow right now, but okay. hopefully uh, people will start coming in and uh, dropping stuff off. Yeah, hopefully if you're watching right now, go through your cabinets and see if you can find some things to donate to today. Um, this is the second event, so tell us how the first one went and what you guys learned from the last one. You know, I thought we had a really pretty good response last year for it being the first time. Um, you know, we, uh, we had quite a few people that came out and donated. Um, I don't remember exactly what the amount was. I was even kind of surprised on, on the amount that we had, so yeah. You know, once the people find out about it, people that can are always willing to help others. And so, you know, it's, it, was, it was a good response last year. Yeah, and so tell us um, what happens when the food drive is over. Um, do all those canned goods go to Harvesters? Yes, okay. uh, Harvesters has dropped off two barrels at uh, the store. And so you can just bring it in, put your, uh, can, your items in those barrels. Um, and then at the end of the drive, Harvesters comes out and picks them up. Okay, and now we're almost out of time, but of course helping people is should be an incentive enough, but um, maybe to convince people more, there's a prize people could win. So tell us about that. Ab absolutely. It's a free one year plus membership, which there's a lot of perks that go along with it. Um, you get 100 miles of free towing. Uh, they'll come out and uh, replace your flat tire. Um, bring you out free gas if you get stranded, get you locked in back into your car if you should lock your keys in. So, yeah. Okay, well, this sounds like a great event. Scott Martin, thank you for joining us this morning. Well, thanks, Tiffany, for having us. All right, now for a quick look at your forecast, let's send it over to Becky Taylor.